Classmates Spell Bee Season 7, presented by Classmate, powered by the Times of India, an initiative by Radio Mirchi. Before the break, I'd asked you to name the longest non-scientific word in the English language that has all its letters in alphabetical order. Well, there are actually two such words, billowy and beefily. Sometimes I wonder who thinks this stuff up. But I'm sure our spelling wizards share the same passion for words and letters. So let's get on with the competition. We're halfway through round one. Two contestants remain to play with. Let's quickly welcome to our podium our third contestant, Predna Pathro from VT High School in Vishakhapatnam. <laughs> Hi, Predna, how are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling? Quite excited. How did you think the rounds have gone so far with the other contestants? They were quite tough. Everybody answered well. Did you know the words? I knew some of them. Some of them? Yeah. Who has inspired you to be a part of a spelling competition? It's my sister. Who's come with you from your family? My father. Hello. So you two are color coordinated with your daughter. I see both wearing purple. <laughs> it's, it's a coincidence. It's a coincidence? <laughs> we didn't plan it. I thought maybe is purple your lucky color or favorite color? No, nothing like that. Is there anything you'd like to say to Predna before we begin? So willing, uh, winning or losing doesn't matter. They should all play well. They should give their best. All the contestants, wish you all the best. Predna, wish you all the best. All the very best. Should we begin round one with you? Your first word for five points is accolade. Can I have the meaning, please? An award or privilege granted as a special honor or as an acknowledgement of merit. Can I have the language of origin? Latin via French. Part of speech? It is a noun. Could you please use it in a sentence? I can. I accept this accolade for greatest magician on behalf of my husband who's disappeared for the night. It's A-C-C-O-L-A-D-E. That is absolutely correct. Your second word is also for five points. That word is razzmatazz. Uh, can I have the definition? Noisy, showy, and exciting activity and display designed to attract and impress. The language of origin? Late 19th century English. It's R-A-Z-Z-M-A-T-A-Z-Z. -Z -Z. Are you sure? Yeah. You're absolutely right. Well done. Two words spelled correctly. Two remain. Your third word for 15 points is Rococo. R-O-C-O-C-O. You're bang on! <laughs> Allow me to just give the definition to those of us who are not familiar with the word Rococo. Meaning, of course, denoting furniture or architecture characterized by an ornamental style of decoration prevalent in 18th century Europe. But you knew that, of course. If you spell this word correctly, Prerna, you will also have a perfect score of 20 points. Your word to spell is miscellanea. Can I have the meaning? Several different items that have been collected together. The language of origin? It is of Latin origin. M-I-S-C-E-L-L-A-N-I-A. -E I'm afraid you're off by just one letter. That's incorrect. The accurate spelling is M-I-S-C-E-L-L-A-N-E-A, -E -A, not I-A which means we cannot give you points for that. But at the end of round one, Predna, you still have a very solid score of 15 points. Very well played. <laughs> Please have a seat. Let's welcome now our fourth contestant. His name is Soumya Gupta, and he is from Jusko School in Jamshedpur. <laughs> Hi, Soumya. Hi. Very well done for having made it to the top 16. Thank you. Are you feeling the pressure? A little nervous? Who's here with you today? My father. Your Hello, father is here? Hello. Is there anything that you would like to say to Soumya? Yeah, Soumya, just uh, have faith in God in yourself and just do the best. Just do your very best. I'm assuming that, of course, you love to spell. That's why we're all here today. But is there a favorite book that you have, a favorite piece of literature that you'd like to share with us? My favorite book is 101 Eminent Personalities of India. And among the 101, is there one that stands out? APJ Abdul Kalam. And is there any quotation that you would like to share with us? Fortune always favors the brave. And the right speller in this case. <laughs> I wish you all the very best. 
May you have good fortune and good spelling. Let's begin round one. Your first word for five points is noticeably. Can I have the definition? Clearly or evidently. N-O-T-I-C-A-B-L-Y. I'm afraid you missed one that's incorrect. You missed the E, N-O-T-I-C-E-A-B-L-Y, which means we cannot give you five points for that, but three words remain, 15 points can still be scored. Your second word for five points is vexillology. Definition. Vexillology, meaning the study of flags. Part of speech. It is a noun. Then use it in a sentence. Anyone interested in vexillology would know that Nepal's is the only flag with more than four sides. I would like to take the expert option, expert connect option. You would like to use your classmate connect option? Your 30 seconds start now. I'll take it. Anika is going to take it. It's V-E-X-I-L-L-O-L-O-G-Y. I will accept that. You will accept it. You would be right to do so. They're right and you're right. Which means you have five points to your score. We move on swiftly to your third word, also worth five points. Your word to spell is nuga. Nuga, also pronounced nugget. Can I have the definition, please? A sweet made from egg white, sugar or honey, and mixed with nuts or fruit. Nuga. N-O-U-G-A-T. That is correct. Well done. You have one word remaining in round one. If you spell this word correctly, you will be tied with Prerna for 15 points. Good luck. Your word is pirouette. Pirouette. Can I have the definition, please? An act of spinning on one foot, typically with the raised foot touching the knee of the supporting leg. P-I-R-O-U-E-T-T-E. -E. Are you sure? Yeah. Can you do a pirouette? No. Maybe after I tell you that you're correct. Very well done, which means, Somya, at the end of round one, you have a solid score, tied with Prerna for 15 points. Well done. <laughs> at the end of round one, our leaderboard stands as tied in second place, Prerna and Somya with 15 points each, but our current leaders, both tied at 20 points, are Abhinav and Rishi. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's time for us to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll play our deciding round two to see which of the contestants will go through to round three. I hate to leave, but I need my cup of tea or I get really cranky. Which reminds me, does anyone know how the word cranky originated? You'll find out, but only after I've had my cuppa on the other side of this break. You're watching Classmates Bell B Season 7, powered by The Times of India.